Hi everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and today I have a tutorial on how you can take a design that you've created in the Silhouette Studio software and then take it into the Mint Studio and make a custom made stamp. Now I have a link in the description to the design class that I have just released. It is on my Silhouette Secrets Teachable site where I have all of my Silhouette classes. So I show in that class how we created this design. I'm just going to zoom in here and several others as well. So it is a, a class on creating unique designs within the Silhouette Studio software using the tools available. So I have a couple things here for you. So this is the stamp that I'm going to create. And I also in the description below have a link to this mint stamp templates that I have created. I released it in a blog tutorial a uh, while back on the silhouette-secrets.com website. And this gives you an idea when you're designing, so you can copy and paste this to your design mat. So if I'm going to make a 30 by 30 um, millimeter stamp, uh, the Mint st uh, stamp machine works with millimeters. So I'm going to copy this shape here for the 30 by 30 and then I can bring it over here into my design space and I can use this as my template to make sure that my design is going to fit on my stamp. So in this case, the first one I made, I made it for a uh, 45 millimeter by 45. This time I grabbed a 30 by 30. So I'm just going to actually rotate this image and this is the square is your template that you're using to make sure that your design will fit on that mint stamp. Now the mint studio software is a separate program and it is very, very basic. It is created off of version two of the silhouette studio software. So quite a while ago, and it doesn't really have updates. It doesn't, um, it no longer actually has any updates but it was created based off that version two of Silhouette Studio and it doesn't, it looks similar, but it doesn't look the same as our Silhouette Studio. But you can design in Silhouette Studio and then when you export it, you are going to save it. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm going to move this off. I don't need it. I'm going to click back on my stamp design image that I've created. With the image selected, I'm going to come up to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive, and then I am going to save this as a Silhouette Studio file. Silhouette Mint Studio will open a Silhouette Studio file. So if I do this and save it, I am then going to go over into my Mint Studio and open that file. So I'm just going to minimize this and I have my Mint Studio already pulled up. So when you first open it, you're going to be given some options. Uh, one thing I wanna note here is again, I mentioned that the Mint Studio software is based off of an old software version of Silhouette Studio. I will have a link in the description below that goes to where you can get Mint Studio software and it also tells you the specific software requirements and what is no longer supported. So what I mean by that is they are no longer updating the Mint Studio software. So future computers and future OS updates, it may not be compatible. So you want to take a look at that if you don't already own a Mint and have connected to it. So the library is very limited it's very basic um, you really don't need it it's not going to pull in your full silhouette studio library because the program just is not that big so you may see a few designs show up if you clicked on library but you don't really need it if you already have silhouette studio software which is free for everyone to use so you can create in silhouette studio as you saw on the previous screen and then i'm just going to come over here and choose open and it's gonna ask me where I want to open that from and I'm gonna find my location. And then you can see here, 
it puts that image onto my workspace. Now you could size it in here, but I have provided that free template file. So you can work with that in Silhouette Studio and get the size right. Um, the reason I did that is because when you're creating the design, you wanna make sure that the design elements are going to work for the size that you're looking for. So you can get an idea with that template of the exact size that the stamp is going to be in. And what I mean by that is if I created this design at a full 12 by 12 page, when I scale that back down, it's going to have such thin lines on that design that it may not work. So by creating it more in the size of what your finished project will be, you know that it's gonna work and look good. So I want to choose on the right hand side the size stamp that I'm using and then that's going to put that white workspace onto my mat. So if I was using a 45 by 45, I'll just select that so you can see it's going to change the size of that. My current blank is a 30 by 30. And then I want it centered and since I've already sized it in Silhouette Studio software, I can come up here to Object, Align, and center to stamp. And then it's going to automatically center that for me. And the Mint is a really neat uh, machine. It creates a stamped image based off what you tell it through a thermal process. So I'm going to come up here to my Send to Mint and it says could not connect to Mint. And that is because I have it turned off. So I'm going to reach over and I'm gonna turn it on. You're going to notice that it picks up. My computer made a noise, it picks that up. And then my next step is I need to tell it to start. It tells me it's ready and I need to tell it to start. And then it tells me to insert a 30 by 30 stamp sheet. And now I'm gonna switch over to my other camera. So here is my mint. You can see here that the light is flashing. That means that it's ready to go. It's waiting for me. I'm going to open up my mint template. Here's my stamp template and I can set this aside. And then this is the arrow in and it stopped flashing. That means that it's no longer ready to go. So let me switch back over. Just simply a matter of me taking the time to explain. If I click start mint again, now it's flashing. It's ready for me to load. So I'm going to load in the back and just carefully press that in. It's going to start to pull that in. And then it goes through its process and it takes just a few seconds. And then what you'll see here is it has made that stamp imprint. Now I can go ahead and break this apart. And I have my stamped section. I'm gonna set that there for a second. I'm going to take this and I'm gonna peel off the protective cover. This is sticky and then I can carefully align that onto my stamp. And then I'm gonna press it down just on a clean surface. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to take my ink and I'm going to ink all of the design and I'm gonna let it sit. And then once, once it has absorbed that ink, I'm going to do it another time and this just takes practice and testing on seeing how much you want it to absorb enough ink but not be too excessive. So we're I'm going to do that process which is going to take a little bit of time and then afterwards you're going to stamp that off and you want to stamp it off as until you get a clean stamped image 
without any smudges or excess. And then anytime you need to, you can re-ink it with your ink again, and it brings it back to life. So here are a couple photos of the finished stamp, and I'll show you the stamp off page, and then the finished stamp after it's been stamped off. If you have any questions regarding this mint stamp machine, please let me know in the comments below. Check out the description of this video for more information on the stamp template that I have provided for you to design with in Silhouette Studio software, as well as an additional mint tutorial that I have linked from my website and information on the mint studio software from Silhouette America. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know below. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.